Hello and welcome. I want to introduce you to the Raspberry Pi social media glove, or as it was known, Project New York. I was fortunate enough to be invited to Pi Academy where um, me and some of the colleagues there, we created the Michael Jackson tribute glove. A simple um, glove where when you made a connection, it would sing a song from Michael Jackson or the Michael Jackson character would move. Um, as I was driving home, I was thinking about the concept. Well, I can do things on my phone, but it becomes a bit difficult. If I'm driving, I've got to take my phone out of my pocket and I've then got to load the app and then if I want to change the music, I've still got to touch the device and obviously that's not safe. Um, and I was thinking about the television. In the olden days, the television, if I wanted to change the channel, I would have to get out of my seat and change it and select it from the actual TV. Now I can use a remote. So in terms of the ease of use, it's progressed. So maybe we're at a stage now where having to use your mobile phone and take it out of a pocket is becoming a bit of a burden. And I think in the health app market, this is true. Uh, you're doing a, a, a jog or a run or a workout and you have to stop to change the, the song or you have to um, stop to enter some information in about your heart rate and that interrupts your workout and perhaps that isn't you know, the most the best use of the device. So if I give an example, if I want to use Twitter and send a device, sorry, send a message, I have to take my phone out, click on it, swipe it down or enter the key code in, it loads up, I press the app, app loads up and then I send my message. If I want to take a photograph as well, I've got to click on the, photo, the camera app, load it up, and so on. Um, I was thinking about the idea that, well, what about if I had this at my fingertips? What about if I could send a photograph? What about if I could tweet from my finger? What about if I could play some music? And uh, then I started thinking, what, what other things would I want to do? Well, I could you know, run a bath by touching my fingers together, um, open a door or something like that, and the, the possibilities became endless. Um, and this could be done from my hands being in my pockets. So, without further ado, I'll show you the pie glove. Uh, here's the pie glove. It's a, uh, a golfing glove. I don't play golf, uh, but somebody at work suggested it might be a, a good method of being able to attach the uh, the equipment together. Uh, Cat5 cable with the neat, with the um, with the wires separated into each area. On the end of each of my fingertips, there is a button. Uh, if this was ever developed further, we'd obviously have the buttons integrated into the actual fabric. Um, but obviously I was, I was testing this as a prototype. This then runs down to a Raspberry Pi. Uh, the Raspberry Pi will be battery powered and probably sit in a pack or in your back pocket. And then a, run, a lead running up to the camera and the camera module will be available on, on one of the area pockets or on an arm somewhere so we can take the photographs. In this example, I've got it set up just here um, so you can see the, the interaction. But the, the next stage would be to actually fully integrate it into um, a jacket or a, um, a shirt or something like that or t-shirt so that you could access it. And it feels quite natural. Um, it's, you know, I'm aware of my phone being in my pocket. I'm not necessarily always aware of, uh, of this being on it, although it is a golf glove and I don't always wear golf gloves. So we'll load it up. One of the things I thought about was um, how am I going to know that the system is operational and obviously there's no display on it. So I had to work with uh, eSpeak, with Python, and uh, get it to tell me what, when, the, when the glove is ready and what, what actions are taking place. Uh, this again would be in a set of headphones. Um, in order for you to hear this, I've got it running through a stereo system. So we'd have the glove. The glove would then go around and be built into the shirt or the coat and a camera here or a camera there, a battery pack powering it, and then a, a set of headphones or a single headphone to give you the, the controls. And this is what it does. Welcome to Project New York. Please make a selection. Button one, take a picture. Button two, tweet your picture. Button three, music player and MP3. Button 4, check train times. Please select your button. Repairing train times. So I really struggled with the fourth button, what should I do? And uh, I thought about ease of use and something that I do every single day. And I travel on the train, and a lot of us commute, and we usually travel between the same two stations. Um, and often if I want to check the train times, I've got to take the app out, I've got to load up the app, I've then got to put the times in. I might have written them down before, but there's still a number of steps I have to go through. Or I'm at the station, I need to check the times. 
Um, and I, I came up with the, kind of the idea that wouldn't it be easy just to press a button and that would download or relay the train times currently, uh, any delays and the station arrival times to my Raspberry Pi glove, which would then feed back into my ear. Um, and that's what the fourth button does. It uses a, um, a, a Google Sheets CSV file, uh, scrapes the data from the train um, website, train line website, returns the appropriate information into a CSV file, downloads it, and then imports that into the, into the program. It will tell me when it's ready. Uh, sometimes takes train time time. ready. Sometimes it takes a little while, um, but you can hear that the train times now are loaded and they're ready to refer to. So the first button um, I'll show you is the, the music player. You're walking along, you're listening to some music. There we go. Music player. Music player, MP3 player stopped. Um, obviously, the choice of music I have no control over. You could put your own on there. Uh, it just uses a simple um, random list. Um, each each uh, MP3 is given a number between 1 and 10. It picks a number between 1 and 10, uh, just as a, an example way of playing a different song. Music player. Music player. Notice it once it changes the song. Music player. Music player. Music player. Music player. So you've got your headphones in, someone comes to speak to you. Music player, MP3 player stopped. Press it twice and the MP3 player stops. Now the next feature is the camera. Um, you see something, you've got to get your phone out, you've got to unlock it, you've got to take a picture. What about, as we're so obsessed with taking pictures and uh, sharing them, what about if you just press a button for a picture? And uh, you can see on the Repairing screen here. The camera. Camera ready, smart appeal. Picture taken and saved. Press button two to tweet your picture. So button one uh, arms the camera, gives you a couple of seconds and it takes a picture. What I'm gonna try and do is get in the picture rather than send the picture. Of a, of a chair with the camera on top of it, which I'm using to record. So we'll give it a go. Repairing the camera. Camera ready. Smile. Picture taken and saved. So now the picture's Press saved. Press button two to tweet your picture. Thank you. Now the picture's saved, and I can now use button two to tweet the picture. So simple as. Repairing your tweet. It should tell me once the tweet has been sent. Um, again, this is dependent on how fast your connection is, um, what the availability of Wi-Fi is or, or 3G. Your tweet was sent. Excellent. So now if you look on Twitter now, you should see there's this picture. Uh, it is the 29th, sorry. Yes, it is the 29th of November and it's uh, about half past one. Um, and you, can, uh, you can check on my timeline and find the tweet. So back to the music, I also built in that uh, if you want to take a photograph and you've got the music playing, it should knock out the, the, uh, the music. So you're walking along, you listen to the music, you see something you want to take a picture of, you obviously press the first button and then the second button to tweet it. And the first button, when you press the photo, um, the, the camera enabler will knock out the music. Music player. <laughs> Repairing the camera. Camera ready. Smile. Picture taken and saved. Press button two to tweet your picture. Button two to tweet the picture. So the fourth button, as I said, uh, gives me the train times. Um, I often be walking to a station or waiting at a station. I want to know what time the next train is. Um, I have to get my phone out. I have to unload, upload it. I have to sorry. I have to unlock it. I have to press the app. Load that up. I have to check the details. This way, I can just hopefully press this button. Collecting train times. And it will read me the train times. Two. Details for the 13.30.14.00.2 Edinburgh calling at York. The train is on time and departing from platform seven. Platform seven, I'm on platform six. I better let it over there. Um, they're good for up to uh, half an hour and then the, uh, the, the, the Python program will then again download it and, uh, and store it. 
Uh, future developments could be that it would store all the train times, but obviously you want a live, um, a live feedback because if it's delayed or if it changes platform. Connecting that. train times. Team 30, 14, 0, 0, 2, Edinburgh calling at York. The train is on time and departing from platform 7. It's on time, I have some music then. Music player. Music Fine. player. Music player, MP3 player stopped. Um, so, in terms of uh, health apps, you can see the application potentially. You could press one of the buttons, it will start your, your music, which you can work out to. Second button you could press, and it will take your heart rate. Um, third button you could press, you might share your um, current heart rate online with a, um, a social media site or a um, you know your peers. Uh, a lot of the sport apps now have, have peer mentoring and motivation. Um, the concept, you know, as I said, it's, it's, it's his bare bones. Other ideas I played around with was updating a Facebook tweet, um, taking a video and uploading that, sending an email, um, even to the point of, you know, using the, the buttons or several different buttons to spell out a word and to share that. Um, speaking to friends and colleagues about it, they said things like um, press a button, it you know, opens your door for you. If you had a disability, you can press a button and uh, it turns on an oven for you at a certain temperature, press another button and um, it could lock a door or some of that. So if you have limited mobility, you can use the, de um, the, the device or use the pie glove to, um, to, to enable your life to be more enriched. Um, the, the key thing for me though is it's, it's a glove and a glove feels quite natural. So this could be in your pocket and uh, you can be walking along. And if I give you the kind of uh, a demonstration, so I want to listen to some music on my phone or, I'm, or I've got a pie glove, this is what would happen. Music player. Music player, music player, music player, and be free player stopped. Music player, music player, and be free player stopped. And you can imagine, obviously, you want to stop it. I've got to go back to it. Pricks pause. I might have a button here, but that isn't very natural pressing ahead of uh, a set of headphones. And if uh, I sometimes go out running in, if, if you're uh, doing any kind of sport, changing the, the song or the volume whilst you're there is, is often very difficult. Um, so I'll just run it through once more time. Um, on one hand, we have the camera. Repairing the camera. Camera ready, smile. Picture taken and saved. Press button two to tweet your picture. So now I'm gonna tweet the picture. Repairing your tweet. 1332, um, 9, uh, sorry, 29th of November, nearly Christmas, hence the Christmas hat. And uh, as you can see, obviously the voice feedback will tell me once it's, it's tweeted. Okay. Your tweet was sent. Thank you very much. Uh, have some music. Music player. Music player. Music player, MP3 player stopped. Um, obviously you can change your um, set of uh, songs that you want on there and your choice. That's Royal Blood, by the way, good album. Um, and then the final one is just to get the train times. Connecting train times. And uh, tells me Two. what's available. Details for the 13.30.14.00.2 Edinburgh calling at York. The train is on time and departing from platform 7. So that's the pie glove. Um, if you've got any comments, uh, please post on my website or uh, look me up on Twitter uh, at Dan underscore Aldred. And um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Music player.